It is such a crazy windy day today. Where are my keys? Seriously, it's like windy and cold and it feels like winter and I'm actually pretty excited about that. Um, I just got done with my workout and today was another interesting one, you guys. I feel like I'm always talking to you in the car lately. I hope you all don't mind, but this is when I do a lot of my um, reflection and it's when I'm out of the office, Matt's office, there's always a lot of people there, so I don't ever talk with the camera because no, they don't, they're not like into fitness or anything like that, so it'd be super weird. After I work out, I always feel a lot more clear headed and I think about like topics to touch on with you guys. I go through the struggle, struggles of my workout, that's for sure. And today, today's workout, so today's struggle of the day. Um, I went in and it was my upper body workout and y'all know that I did body combat two days ago So I don't think that my body my arms and my back were fully recovered and I had upper body day today So I went in and my first three sets well my first three sets of anything underhand lap pull downs My arms were so pumped. I had to drop the weight by 20 pounds of what I normally do I felt like I had been working out for an hour. So that was really discouraging for me and then I went on to push press. I went on to push press and my shoulders kept getting like super pumped during sets. So I had to back off the weight on that one. Um, but it is what it is. Just like my leg day, sometimes you have to back off on weight and sometimes that's okay. So I took longer rest breaks. I talked to a lot of people in between sets, which helped me to rest longer. And the end of the workout, I actually felt 100% better. So not quite sure what that was about. I guess the first few exercises, maybe my biceps are kind of fatigued. Um, and then everything else from there, I did bench and I did shoulder press, uh, dumbbell press, upright rows. So everything else wasn't really bicep intensive like the lat pull downs. I finished the workout and I felt so much better. I'm glad I finished it, but I do need to take this weekend to rest. I do know that. So I'm gonna do that this week for sure, rest on the weekends. Right now, um, I'm actually going to place an order at Starbucks for something delicious that I will show you guys. I got it the other day with my mom, and it's a just a coffee. I'm going to do a decaf coffee, hot coffee, with um, extra almond milk, the skinny mocha syrup, and a dash of sea salt, and it's like a salted hot chocolate and it's half of the price of their crazy expensive lattes. Got some work to do. I'm supposed to climb tonight and go get some ramen, so never had legitimate ramen before. I'll show you guys. And yeah, so see you soon. It's a grande dark roast coffee with four pumps of the skinny mocha sauce or syrup or whatever that is in a venti cup, uh, extra almond milk, nutmeg, a little bit of sea salt, $2.92. So you can make it cheaper by, I think, taking out the uh, skinny mocha, but that's what makes it delicious. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. What are you getting started for you? Hey, yes, I placed an order online. Super cool. What's your name? Ryan Blair. Then I have it right in front. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. That easy. Just realized that I forgot to get decaf. I told you guys I was going to get decaf and I forgot, but oh well. This zoom works really well. <laughs> made it home um, it's three what time is it it's like three o'clock and um, I have until about 4 30 and then I'm gonna leave again go pick up Matt then we're gonna go to the rock gym and go have ramen but I had a client she asked me a really good question about cardio and I think I would touch on that topic um, right now so let me pull up the question 
I'd definitely be interested in hearing your thoughts about cardio. As you know, I come from a background of endurance sports, marathons, half marathons, triathlons, etc. I've slowly shifted more towards weightlifting in the past two years, but I still really enjoy cardio and the way it makes me feel. I love lifting weights, but that feeling of sweat you get from a good cardio session is something I love also. Definitely cut way back on cardio, but I still do it because I like it and to keep my heart healthy. I know a lot of weightlifters hate cardio or like to be anti-cardio, but I'd love to hear you talk about what you think, um, how you think it fits into a broader, more broad fitness lifestyle. That is an excellent question because I've been on both ends of the spectrum as far as cardio goes. Um, I think I'm gonna set you guys down somewhere. Okay, that's better. So I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I have been the one that I did cardio. I only did cardio. I did three hours of cardio a day. I would do classes back to back like Zumba and spin class and some kind of step class. So I did all of the cardio and I thought that was the answer. I thought that's what healthy meant. Um, and then I actually found out that lifting was <laughs> one of the better ways to get me to my physique goals. But not only that, it helps improve uh, your metabolism. It makes your bones stronger. Obviously it makes your muscles stronger. Um, and then it just helps you perform daily tasks better. So I started lifting when I realized that you can make progress without having to do cardio for hours every day. I kind of went more towards the anti-cardio um, group because I didn't want to do cardio anymore. I'd spent so many years doing so much cardio that I kind of went in the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, well, after a little bit of time with that, and I can kind of relate this to my flexible dieting journey. So back before I started tracking my macros, I would be all or nothing. So I'd either be binge eating or I would be eating super clean. Now, once I figured out that I could track my macros and eat whatever I wanted within that intake, I went to the opposite end and I tried fitting in as much junk as I could because I could. So after a little bit of time on either end, I was able to find that middle ground. And that's how I feel about cardio. I feel that there's a really good balance that you can have with cardio without having to rely on it as your only means of caloric burn and by not doing it ever. Because I do feel that there are a lot of um, cardiovascular benefits, heart healthy benefits to doing cardio. Weightlifting is great for strength and muscles and daily performance, but as far as your heart goes, it's really good to get your heart rate up now and again to help keep everything moving nice and smooth and to keep ugh, your metabolism healthy. So um, I definitely think that there's a really good balance in between that. I'm trying to find the best like way to sit without being like super awkward. Um, there's a really good balance to find with that. Um, I think that the best place is somewhere in the middle. So depending on your goals, um, this is right here, by the way, and that's what I'm doing. See his tail? <laughs> um, depending on your goals. So if you are somebody that has a goal of fat loss, cardio is gonna help, but you don't want cardio to be your only means of burning calories and you don't wanna rely on cardio forever. Basically, cardio can be a really good tool to help you make fat loss progress and to also help um, train for a specific sport. But it's not the only way. So it just, it really depends on your goal at the time. Um, if you have a certain sport that you're training for, marathons, soccer, like any very heavy uh, endurance-based sports and training, you're gonna have to do cardio, that's gonna be it, but you're gonna have to adapt your nutritional intake, your caloric intake, to take that into account. So somebody that does cardio for their specific sport or um, training for a specific thing, your calories are gonna need to be higher because you don't want to burn up a lot of muscle especially if you're focusing on performance. So, um, what else can I touch on? I think that kind of covers it. Um, I'm not anti-cardio, but I also do believe that a lot of people only rely on cardio 
and they don't realize the benefits of heavy strength training and how those can actually help more towards physique goals than cardio alone. So for all of my clients, a lot of them come to me doing a bunch of cardio and they have these specific goals of gaining muscle or gaining strength, um, even fat loss, but it's hard to take somebody that's doing seven days of cardio and eating 1500 calories and help them build muscle um, because they're burning all of that away with their cardio. So I usually take some time to um, back off on the cardio, increase their intake, and then increase the amount of strength training that they do per week. And then over time, as you have more, um, as you need more fat loss or as your body plateaus, that's when you add in the cardio to help enhance your results. But um, again, as far as specific training goes, if you have a sport or something like Cardio helps my climbing. So I like to include cardio now and again as much as I can because I know my performance in the rock gym is gonna be improved. And I hope that helps some of you guys understand a little bit more about how I see cardio. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Like I said, it's all about a healthy balance just like with your food and your training. Um, you wanna find that happy middle ground that you can sustain and stick with and keep making progress long-term. So yeah, that's my thoughts on cardio. Yeah. You're so awkward. Oh baby, you're so awkward. So hello. I just love you so much, boys. <laughs> okay, I'll put you down. Molly's on there. <laughs> Please stop it. <laughs> First time trying ramen. <laughs> okay, that one is a takeout only, so we're going to another one. Um, Tatsuya! It's like, <laughs> called Tatsuya. It's like a minute or two away, so Tatsuya! apparently the vibe there is nice. Oh, <laughs> What are we doing? Oh, Why is it so zoomed in? <laughs> Get real close. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah.